Hello there my good friends of YouTube. Well, do you guys remember these, this I made quite some time ago. It's a nice big ferrite transformer that I, I actually uh, wound the windings, uh, the windings and uh, boiled it in wax and then dipped it and dipped it and dipped it um, in the process of dipping it and taking it out, drying, dipping it and taking it out until I got a nice even coating on the outside. It's quite a big transformer. I mean this is quite a relatively big trans um, screwdriver so you can basically see how big it is. And I've got it running on a IGBT and what I uh, what I'm doing with this one then is uh, run it through an IGBT gate driver port width which has got a 9 volt battery in there and then it's through the windings just here on here. These are not even warm. They're actually just warm room temperature. All the wires, the thinner wires are a little bit warm. I can feel it's just a little bit warmer than room temperature, but it's quite stable. The heat sink is warm. And here's the output. Quite stable. I'm putting about 16 volts into it, something like that, 16, 18 volts. And it's been running like that now for the past 15, 20 minutes. There's a spark gap just in case if the uh, arc breaks. The last thing we want is an open circuit, especially running out on RGBT. It would most certainly flash my windings. It may, it may not, but uh, just to be on the safe side. I thought, I've not messed around with this for a while. I thought I've got to uh, have another go at it. And it's been running really really well. I've got a bit piece of metal just there because it actually runs that hot when you change the frequencies it really does uh, melt the the metal and it just drops down melting. It's that hot. It's that hot the arc is. <coughs> oh excuse me. And uh, that noise you can hear in the background is is my uh I'll show you that. Is that? It's not that one because that one's there. I've cut a piece of perspex out and put some. Uh, that's the power in, and that's the spark gap. And um, I've got to. Uh, what I've done, I've um, took that plate out and taken the other one off, which looks like this. This is it. I've taken that out because um, I was getting arcing. From the spark gap, can you see that on the corner there? Let's see if we can focus in. There you go. And it was arcing straight to this, the actual um, lid. So I thought I'll get rid of that and build my own. And the standoffs that are covered up with that black stuff is because I was getting a bit of air coming through the wind of, of the windings of the thread. So I was just getting a continuous process of air going back into the into the box. So um, I've stuck a load of uh, stuff over the top of that to uh, stop it from drawing any air in. You might just be able to see the, the standoffs which go really deep down into the oil which will stop any jump into the actual casing of this. So because this is a unit which I've not stripped down, I'm keeping this one because that's why the um, IGBT is out because um, I was trying it you see and I get quite a nice output from this, I do like these units I'll actually show you the bottom of here if I can show you the tag it's only 49 kV but you get a good nice output from it to see There we go. Oh yes, Germany, Siemens. Can't beat them. Can't beat German stuff, I love it. So, and yes, this one's all back together. Just got to uh, top the oil back up on it and uh, give it a vacuum. Got some parts out of others that I've taken apart. And look at this, a 38, a 36 stage. 
that's going to be evil when I do that. You can see that's all out, ready to uh, to uh, connect a fly back up to it. That will be pretty easy, pretty um, evil. That's some of the uh, RGBTs, and diodes, and thrusters, and whatnot. Thruster packs. So yeah, it's uh, it's looking pretty damn good. That is. There's the. Do you remember that one that I said was here, which was that one, which I said. That was the next one that I was stripping down. I've already done an autopsy on one of those before and taken them apart. And the uh, transformers out of it are here. I did put some pictures on Google Plus. That's all right. So there you go. Hold on. Turn that off because that pretty high frequency is doing my ears in. So yeah, that. Uh, what's out of it you see that is for where are you is for those ferrites because as you know I've got a couple of those already which are inside of that one yeah let's see if I can tip this up and get them down there to show you there we go there you go there you go you see the windings because the iron core's taken out of it, you see, and the ferrite goes in there. That's been on a vacuum, that has for days. Bloody hell, we've got a storm coming. Yeah, I'll show you a lot. It's really windy out there. Is that hail? Don't know, but you can just see the... There's trees in the background. Got 800 mile an hour winds coming, guys. So that should be fun. So back to this. Look at the end of it, Lord. Just melts them. I have got tungsten tips that I can use, but I'll, I'll save those for me rotary gap for my uh, Tesla coil, which are on there. I'll save those. I don't mind melting the old screw end, I've got bloody enough of them. See that tip look? Gets flipping hot. That is one hot arc. your ears a minute. Jesus. How hot that arc is. <laughs> that is really, really bad. I'm going to wait for it in a minute to just drip. <laughs> So there you go, I just thought I'd share that with you guys, that's what I've been doing, that's what I'm doing, and uh, you know, it's uh, it's all good. So if I do, uh, once I do uh, get this sorted out, I'll uh, make a video and show you. So, thanks for watching, as always, uh, whatever you're doing guys, please be safe and uh, hopefully we'll speak again. Take care guys, look after yourselves.